more than ever before my therapy cases are on relationships and finances covid time most families are together due to work from home and that is taking a toll not only on relationship but also health is deteriorating due to emotional conflict are you in a relationship and you feel like you have made the wrong choice you feel you are the only one trying and your partner is withdrawing emotionally are you struggling with communication and your partner does not really listen to you and probably you have lost the spark if any of this resonates with you then this video is for you today i will talk about relationships and practical ways to resolve relationship conflicts let us understand through a case study a client approach me she has been married for the last 2 years and now she feels that she made a wrong choice and she feels her partner is incompatible they don't get along and there are differences every single day before we understand how to handle such issues let us understand the cause of such issues few questions were asked to get some more details like how long they have known each other and whether she felt the same in the beginning of the relationship her response was they have known each other since 6 years and it is their love marriage and in the beginning the relationship was good now the question is why do such things happen that what seems good in the beginning changes so much after marriage understand one thing that most relationship in the beginning pass through a golden phase initially both are more open with each other and even though they were sensing some issues they kept ignoring many problems or bad signs and later they could not tolerate it what steps can you take now which can give you relief or some clarity so first let us understand the dynamic of a relationship men are from mars and women are from venus a best book to understand relationship and each other in any relationship it is normal that they will have both the good times and unpleasant times because the way we are created we are created differently so the way we behave is different so misunderstanding is normal in any and in fact all the relationship so what is important is to learn to create balance and a harmonious life understanding and accepting each other it is impossible to have complete happiness and only good time imagine a movie or a web series having only good positivity would you watch it and wait for the next episode the thrill and uncertainty hooks us on and get us addicted understand this always having a good relationship would mean that both individual accept each other 100% unconditionally like you just meet someone you get really close to and for the rest of the life there is no single complaint from either of you that is what 100% good time would look like and now for the description you might understand why that is simply not possible Although I am not ruling out the possibility and yes with effort you can reach a state of 100% good time only if you so desire this needs a lot of commitment and consistency from both the side but it is close to impossible and we definitely don't see that very often in day to day life there are so many instances where there are misunderstanding and differences difference of opinion and minor conflict and in fact that is good for healthy relationship like small nok joke i had a friend who was a housewife and her husband was working husband had to travel every day for almost two and a half hours or more on sundays when the husband had off the wife would desire to go out but the husband who has been out the whole week prefers to stay home When you see this from both sides you understand what could be the issue Similarly many couples interest are different some like to watch cricket whereas some just don't Many couples or families fight over remote control What is needed in life is adjustment and this is most needed in all relationship not only couple Some of your habits are accepted by the other person some can cause friction Some of your core values about what is good or what is bad could match some might not leading to deep incompatibility part of your communication goes okay but part goes really ugly while you are trying to resolve a issue or conflict so each relationship will have some good time and some unpleasant time 
So the first solution is to learn to tolerate and accept each other and don't expect only good times. Why solve it when you can dissolve it? A happy marriage is about three things. Memories of togetherness, forgiveness of the mistakes and a promise to never give up on each other. When you understand this, it sounds like a very common sense thing. But such understanding is not commonly used. Because most of us often fail to connect this piece of knowledge to real life problems. When you are in love, you will get hurt. It's a part of human experience. No one is perfect. People make mistakes. The secret is to focus on what they do right. If you understand this, you can resolve your relationship issues on your own. This client said that my husband has changed. But can a person change in such a short time? No, no one changes. Many times we spend the entire life trying to change somebody, but nothing changes. Then what is going wrong that we don't understand? Most couples have fun at the beginning. As initially they kept ignoring many problems and bad signs. They were more of accepting each other the way they are. And now they don't. Most relationship and even most friendship for that matter initially says a phase called golden period like the honeymoon phase. It is common to just feel this great sense of harmony and love with a new person where you tend to brush aside the weird and the conflicting parts and just enjoy being together. Long drives, listening to music, chatting, loving and caring and all the attention that you give and you get. And the relationship seems near perfect and in this state you might go indeed for the person who actually isn't that good for a match for you. This can be avoided if you are constantly aware of your senses and the red flags. But if you did not see that coming or you might have already seen this in the initial stage of dating, maybe in the first couple of dates like he gets a bit too controlling sometimes but you say it is okay. You know she is constantly nagging but you say it's okay. The partner is not willing to compromise and being too dramatic but you think maybe he or she will change in the future. These things that you are just ignoring are going to cause disharmony later because it is unavoidable. So before you go deep with someone, take into account the possible disharmony from day one. Talk about it. Try to resolve it. Do not discount or pressure the negatives. They are coming whether you see them or you don't. And if this complaint was not there earlier but have just started and now you are feeling you made a wrong choice or your partner is incompatible, then understand. No one is perfect. The misunderstanding and unpleasant moments will come in all relationship. Solution is communication, not complaining. If you don't know, then ask. If you don't agree, then discuss. If you don't like it, then say it politely. But don't start judging silently. The second problem could be that you are a dreamer who hopes for a fairy tale or a happily ever after or you have seen too many films and you think why my partner is not so romantic like him and your actual life is nowhere close to those dreams. All this picture perfect friendship or relationships takes your expectation through the roof and higher expectation means higher disappointments. So remember that when two human beings come together, you cannot stay dreamy. Disharmony will always be there. Misunderstanding will keep arising. Perfect relationship is just in fantasy. So remembering this will recalibrate your expectation from any particular relationship and save you a lot of disappointment. Conflict resolution is not by changing your partner or changing his or her behavior but coming in terms with reality and walking through life with understanding and creating a win-win situation. Love can melt all blockages and with proper communication, things can be sorted. But in case you need a conciliator or a counsellor who can be neutral for both sides and can resolve your conflict, then do not hesitate to seek professional help. I can also help you resolve your conflict with a better perspective. I will create a separate video on simple and short marriage prayers for couples. Let me know if you are interested in the comments below. My next video for those who are on the verge of divorce and not sure whether it's the right decision. 
then find out more if you have any questions about related to disharmony in relationship then feel free to ask and i will answer all your questions if you have liked this video then do like comment and subscribe which gives motivation till we meet next light and fragrance to all of you